has one of these <clears throat> highly relatable situations. Ever been you? You realize you have to file US taxes even though you live abroad, right? So you know that you're subject to US taxation because your parents are US citizens, right? What? We get it. Our thousands of users have been there too. Here at My Expat Taxes, we have a simple and affordable way you can take care of all of this. Keep watching this video as we break down the streamlined procedure that will keep the IRS crowd happy. The IRS have created the streamlined procedure to help people like you get caught up on your US expat taxes, penalty free. So you can go ahead and stop running away from the IRS. Run, Forrest, run away, hurry! Because there are some hefty fines for those who choose not to file. That IRS crowd are somehow really good at catching tax evaders. I will find you. <laughs> oh man. Now the only question is, are you eligible to use the streamlined procedure to get caught up? Firstly, you have to admit that you didn't really know about it, or you forgot. And you just found out recently that you need to get on it. That's when it's all accepted as non-willful conduct and good faith misunderstanding. Secondly, you've got to have a US Social Security number or taxpayer identification number. If you haven't got one, you can apply for one at your US consulate. You also need to meet the non-residency requirement, which means that you must have been A, physically outside of the US for at least 330 days of one of the three years of tax returns, and B, the US was not your main place of residency for one of the three years. So, if you've ticked all those boxes, you should just make sure that you haven't filed a US tax return in the last three years. Well, you can file an amended return if you've made mistakes on a submitted tax return. So now that you know that you qualify for the streamlined procedure, We'll get you started by filling you in on the essentials. You should file the last three years of tax returns, not including this year's return. If any incorrect tax returns have been previously filed, you can include amended returns here as well. Then you've got to file six years of FBARs. Fun. The FBAR is the document that tells the IRS all about your foreign financial accounts. You can learn more about the FBAR, because I know you want to, in this video on our YouTube channel. Lastly, you will need to sign Form 14653. Whoever comes up with the name for these forms could be a little more creative, right? Like, they could call it the Uncle Sam is Calling form. By signing this certification, you confirm with the IRS that you are eligible for this program and that your back tax returns will be free from late filing fees since they were due to non-willful conduct. Once you get started with my expat taxes, this will all get a lot easier. You'll be filing years of taxes in a day. Cool. This is ginger ale, by the way. By the way, once you use the streamlined procedure, you'll need to file a tax return for the rest of your life. A what? But don't worry, it's unlikely that you would ever have to pay taxes as an American living abroad. But you can always use our superior and mighty software at My Expat Taxes every year so that it's done quick and easy. 